you are a higher level IB history student studying Japan as one of the three aspects of the history of Asia and Oceania that you are preparing for paper three, the higher level paper. And um, of course, you might ask, why do we study Japan from 1912 to 1952? That is from the opening of the Taisho period, 1912, to the end of the American occupation in 1952. Now, let's think about that for a second. Why are we studying Japan? Well, first of all, let's skip all the important questions about why do you study history, which I think all of you should be able to answer, which is certainly one of the aims of the course for us to understand what is history and why we study history, etc. But let's not talk about that for right now. And let's not talk about the sort of um, very useful but rather um, rather trivial questions of, oh, we study Japan because we're trying to get good grades on the, on the IB test. Let's, let's leave those aside for a second as well and ask, why do we study Japan from 1912 to 1952? And before we get into that, let's just ask, why do we study in the IB in the first place? And this is very relevant to our history of Japan and our study of Japan. So what is the IB? Essentially, it's a preparatory course for Western universities. And many of you will go to universities in the UK, in the US, in Canada, in Australia, etc. And the IB is unapologetic about the fact that it has essentially a Western bias. And you may ask, here we are, most of us Asian students, in Asia, studying Asia. So why are we studying it with a Western bias? Now, you know, don't get too upset. I'm certainly not trying to stir up your nationalistic or racial or ethnic pride. As we will find out when we study Japan, that can be quite dangerous, okay? But there are good reasons for studying Japan with sort of a Western bias. And if you look at the historians that I've asked you to read, people like W.J. Beasley and um, Edwin O. Reichauer and Peter Deuce, you, you are not exactly hearing Japanese names, are you? So we are kind of approaching the study of Japan with a sort of Western bias. And I think, therefore, if we want to answer the question, why do we study Japan from 1912 to 1952, I think that the, basically it comes down to this one question. And that is, what Western historians are trying to figure out, Western diplomatic historians are trying to figure out when they study Japan is, why did Japan, or the Imperial Japanese government, bomb Pearl Harbor on December 8, 1941, or December 7th if you were in Hawaii? Um, in other words, why did Japan launch this aggressive war against not only the United States, but also Britain and um, Holland, etc., the, the, the Western powers in the Pacific? So from a Western kind of point of view, that's the essential question. And when we're studying the teens and the 20s and the 30s, we're studying the build-up to that fateful decision of launching what some Americans call the war in the Pacific. Now, if you were going to look at that question from a more Asian-centered point of view, you might ask, why did Japan launch its war of aggression against China? And you might say World War II in Asia really began in 1931 with the invasion of Manchuria. And if we look at world, the Second World War in Asia, we find that most of the casualties were actually on the mainland, particularly in China, not out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, out of Guadalcanal or someplace like that. So from the Asian kind of perspective, you might ask, well, the real issue in studying Japan and Japanese foreign policy between the wars, the interwar period as it's called, is China. And this keeps coming over and over again when you study Japan and particularly Japanese diplomatic policy in the 1920s and the 1930s, is that the burning issue is China. And you could even make the case that what caused the Imperial Japanese government to make the decision to launch the war 
against the Western powers was because their war against China was not going well. And they needed oil and resources and rubber for their tank tire, for their tank treads and tires for their trucks and everything else in order to support the war against China. And that's why they launched the war of aggression against the Western powers. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. I actually had a lot more to say, but I promised I'd keep it to five minutes. Yeah, so you can press the button now. We'll see if that works. Any questions about